Wow, we're only in the beginning of 2011 and I've got a lot to say about it already. Hi, my weight's 10 feet About a week before Christmas, I was talking to one of my friends, saying to him, yeah, that um, there's no, that I don't feel there's any good films coming out. I was saying to him that I didn't think there's not much films that's proper looking great for me anymore I didn't, I, I'm not really there's no films I'm looking forward to I was thinking yeah that this film this this year would probably be a crap year for films or whatever probably not going to be any decent films that I'm into right yeah not didn't even think any not even one that's how that's what I was saying to him and a few days ago I saw this trailer to a film and I gotta say I got to say that um, I eat those words proper. It's a film called Real Steel, and I gotta say, yeah, already, I've only just seen this trailer, you know, and I think it's my film of the year 2011 already. It's January, and yet I'm already predicting what film is going to be my film of the year, you know. If you guys are added to my personal Facebook, and if you're added... And if you're following me on Twitter, you probably really, really, really know how obsessed with this film I already am. You know, I've never ever seen a film. So I've not ever like watched a trailer for a film so much as I already have. I must have watched this this trailer about twenty times by now already. You know, and I'll probably after I finish um, recording this video, I'm gonna watch it a twenty-first time. I'm really hyped for this fucking film I'm actually more hyped for this film than I was the Tekken film and that's saying something so what's real still yeah let me let me let me help you guys a bit, a bit yeah just it's just two words I just need to say robot boxing now okay now keep in mind yeah don't get it in your thought already yeah that oh god it's just little just little robots thing yeah that it just this is some serious robot designs, yeah? Like, I'm pretty sure yeah, you like Transformers, as in the film Transformers 1 and Transformers 2, The Revenge of the Fallen. Everyone likes the old cartoon Transformers movie better, yeah? But people still did love the effects that the robots had in Transformers 1 and 2. And they also liked the violence in there. Quite a lot of people hated the film, but they did like the fighting in there, the violence in there, yeah, right, yeah? If, that's, if, if you're one of these people, because I was, right, yeah, then this film... You'll, you'll like, real still, you'll fucking like it, yeah, because the robot boxing in there is fucking mad. It's, um, it's, it's saying ro it says robot boxing, yeah, but it looks like robot MMA, because you blatantly see in this trailer, one robot rip off the other robot's arm, and then you see him stomping the shit out of them, and then um, you even see a headbutt. It's, you're seeing some real, and, and even a low blow, you're seeing some real underground boxing here some proper violent shit now everybody knows yeah that when it comes to non-weapon violence yeah that's usually what that's my that's what i like i like blood sport i like um rocky i like all these type of fighting films yeah whether it's either it's boxing or actually fighting bare hands you know yeah i fucking love this film and i always and i always say yeah it's a to me it's always a breath air a breath of fresh air yeah to um see to not always keep seeing humans in a film, humans wearing some army shirt or some arm armor, this or shooting all over the place, all this type of things, yeah. So I really like the concept for this because it's very, very different. And the best thing is, is that they look like they've not only picked a good concept, but they've worked really hard on it, yeah. Because the fighting in this does look bloody violent. And if you're wondering any good actors in it, it's got Hugh Jackman in it. So that's a so I'm I'm really hyped for this film. I'm really I really feel that this film here yeah, could be damn great. You know, people tell me you should never, ever put your hype, your your hopes up, your hypes up for a film here. Yeah, but Jesus, I, I'm trying my best to calm down. The only thing that that's probably bad about this film is if maybe there's too much talking in it and they don't even have enough of the robot fighting in it, right here. Yeah? But I did read the plot. I've actually been on the official website already and I've read the plot. You know, and I can, and from what I'm reading in the plot, yeah, 
it looks like a nice good basic plot. Everyone knows yeah, what I said about fighting films, yeah. I believe fighting films need basic plots, basic storylines, yeah. So then it gives because it, it could it could be a lovely little tiny plot that gives an opening to have loads of fights in the film. And this film does have a basic plot, which to me probably should may show there's probably gonna be loads of these robots fighting. Wait, so people are wondering why is it robot fighting here? Yeah? Basically like um robots taking over yeah, um um the world of boxing and everything like that, yeah, and Instead of training yourself to do boxing, you train your robot. And if any robot boxing. Now, I was a big fan of Pokemon, yeah? And I do have the same feeling with this. But it's more of fantastic, unique style looking robots, yeah? So therefore, I really want to big up this film, yeah? Yeah, the link is right below me. All annotations on the screen right now, yeah? If you would like to see this um, um, trailer. If you're not interested in robots boxing if you're not interested in robots regardless how fantastic they look because i'm really saying i'm really saying they've really done some damn good cgi on this if you're not into um robot boxing or whatever yeah then fine it's not your film yeah but for me this is my fucking type of film and i predict this could be my freaking film of the year 2011 sadly though this film is coming out in october so i've got to wait long i'm gonna be going mad this year man while waiting for this you know, I'm so hyped for this that when I found it's actually going to be at the IMAX, I'm thinking, you know what, I'll even watch this at the IMAX. Whether it's 3D or no 3D, I would watch this at the I IMAX, yeah? And if you want, maybe I'll set up something here where all, where all um, my subscribers in London can come watch it yeah, um, yeah, with me if they're interested. So that's, that's uh, really, I'm really hyped about this. This is a damn good film. And I thought, wow, what a way to kick off this new year. Of what's going to be, of what's, what I have to wait for you, if you know what I mean, right here. And like I said already, man, I've never ever seen a trailer so many times. I must have watched this trailer bare times on YouTube, bare times on the official website itself, and even a few times on Facebook. I'm actually joined to their Facebook and chatting to the people there. That's how hyped I am for this film. I'm just as hyped for this as I would be hyped here for almost any UFC event, you know. And talking about UFC, yeah, fucking hell, the, the bloody... The bloody first UFC of the year, which was UFC 125, was a damn good kickoff start. There were some wicked fights on it. The fight for the troops is is tomorrow. The weigh-ins are going to be in about a couple of hours, so I can't wait for that as well. You know, and what? And also, why is this year going to be a brutal year? We've got good games coming out. You know, now I'm not really too much. I was never that much into Marvel vs. Capcom 2 at the prime it was out. But I'm not going to lie, I've got a little bit of liking into the game and everything. I've got a bit more into the game now, a bit more, yeah. So I'm kind of um I'm kind of ready to buy um Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is coming out very soon. So Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I think that's gonna be a class game. I know that me and my cousins are gonna be banging it out because my cousins love fucking um met, um Marvel vs. Capcom 3, they fucking love it. So I'm gonna, so that's gonna be a class game to play this year. Although I was very, very angry with um, the fact that they're doing Tech and Tag Tournament now, Tech and Tag Tournament 2, that is. I'm still happy that yeah, it's, that's coming out this year as well. That's gonna be another brutal thing this year. And I've also um, watched another trailer to a game, you know, coming out. It's called Supremacy MMA. This is MMA underground, where the rules are almost, um, there is no rules, basically you're breaking people's legs, you're fucking people up, yeah, you're, you're doing what MMA used to do back in the olden days, and fucking they're going even more over the line really, so there's a lot of good violent games and stuff coming out this year, and what else is, do we have, we have Mortal Kombat 9, well they're, they're going to call it Mortal Kombat 2011, and uh, that's, that's a game here that I feel is going to be absolutely fantastic, yeah, the reason why is because, um, you know, it's a 3D game, but on a 2D interface, my personal opinion is those are where you get, to me, the best games, really. I feel everyone knows that 2D interfaces, yeah, is ways to give the lovely arcade style feeling games. I mean, if you make good graphics and 3D graphics, but just play it on a 2D interface, then it's perfect, you know. That's what they do with Smash Brothers. That's what they did with the newest Sonic the Hedgehog 4, although it's, it still was a little disappointing in some ways, yeah? But it's what they do with some of the games here, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So I'm, so personally, I'm very, very happy with what's happening this year. So I'm pretty hyped up. We've got so much good things coming out this year, like, 
I'm like, wow. You know, this real still movie just looks like it's going to be an absolute class film. I can't even get it out of my goddamn head right now. You know? <laughs> and um, we're going to be playing some more bloody brilliant games. Another thing I've got to talk about on Tekken Tag Tournament 2, you know, a lot of people, yeah, have been wondering how come I've not been online playing Tekken 6. Well, the reason is because I've been working on music, animation, you know, doing my modelling and stuff. I've been, um, been a bit, I've, I've actually been forgetting to just sign in, man, place a few games and stuff, man. So, but I want to try my best to get as much as I can done this year. So then when Tekken Tag Tournament 2 comes out and everything out, I could be online more often and I could um, partner up. Because now you know it's tag team, you can actually partner up with people from different world. I'm pretty sure you can. They, that's what they say you can do. And I've already got some a few partners up in mind already, you know. And together we kick ass you know, all over the world. Going to be a fun time. It's going to be good times. You know, Mortal Kombat 9 Online, be playing that online as well. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Supremacy MMA. Got a lot of stuff. And one fantastic film for me. You know, I'm just hoping, yeah, like I said, the only, the only film what could ruin, what could ruin real still for me, is if there's too much talking. If there's too much talking, not enough fighting, I feel that's going to muff it up for me, right, yeah? It is action slash drama. But I mean, you could still have talking, but then not too, but not talking, but not too much. I mean, I feel like when you look at, um, I feel some any films yeah, where I say it has a lot more talking than fighting that still turns out good would be something like Rocky, you know, all the Rocky films, you know. But for this type of film, I feel it's the type of film that's probably gonna, because you know, loads of new films that's been coming out lately these years. I've been liking the films, but. I don't. I wouldn't say they're films that I'd watch as much as I would have watched films back in the olden days that I like, like um, the late eighties and early nineties. There were so much films back then that I feel that could have been fucking terrific, but um, that I feel terrific. But to the, today's films, besides Real Steel, I'm, I say it's great, but not as good as I reckon it could be. So therefore. Real Steel is one is um could be just one of those next films, hopefully, right, yeah. If you're not into it and everything that yeah, um then don't worry about it. If you've got some little bit of interest, yeah, the video is in the description below. Yeah, I've I'm definitely putting the I definitely want to promote this movie because I feel it's gonna be a class movie and um I'm definitely in the mood for this type of entertainment, so I'm ready for this. So that's what I've got to say guys. Um I feel that um, 2011 is going to be some brutal, entertaining year. It really is. And we've got some other fantastic UFC fights coming up later on, yeah? Like um, Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort. We've been waiting for this match since January 2010. Look what, look what it is now. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this. This is going to be a damn good year. So at the moment, boy, you know, I'm already feeling as happy as I can be. You know, trying to keep, you know, trying to keep, you know, keep confident, keep doing everything that, yeah. You know, it's cool to see nice, good, unique stuff coming out a bit more, right, yeah. It usually gives me the confidence, yeah, to work on my unique stuff a bit more. So, I try to do a bit more um, brilliant things and all that. So, that's what I want to talk about today, guys. Just letting you know that I'm happy. <laughs> and um, just doing, just letting you know what I think about this year. My next video is going to be the Q&A for January because I need to do that. So that may come on next week. If you've got any questions, yeah, put on my private private message me on YouTube, yeah, or put on my channel. Don't put on a video, please, because I don't really check all the videos when I when I go on. So if you really want to see a see a question answered, yeah, do it quick. What the hell, you biggie boy? Biggie boy's playing with his tennis ball. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's all I've got to say, guys. I want to say um, thanks very much. I'll see you all later. Love who you are.